Our topic tonight is discussion on the source of morality. The religious people out there, they seem to think that God seems to give them their source of morality. Well, they're fucking wrong. <laughs> it's not possible. We're not going to have the source of morality come from a, a deity which nobody can prove exists for one. And if you think you're getting a source of your morals from a Bible, really? If you've actually read that piece of trash that... And yes, I'm calling the Bible trash. I mean, sure, there's a lot of stuff in there that's pretty and poetry, po poetic and everything, but overall, it's trash. Garbage. 86 it. There's no morality in the Bible. It's the most immoral book I've ever read. And I have... That's the infallible word of God, Packard. <laughs> I have more infallible words on my kitchen floor. Uh... <laughs> Whispered into the ear of the Pope <laughs> daily. Yes, no kidding. Well, the Pope can quit. You can too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be Pope. Uh. There you go. <laughs> That'll be a great quick meme. <laughs> there you go. Now, the thing is with the source of morality, the people out there who think that morality comes from God, I got there's something. I came across this one page. I'm going to read a quote from here. Uh, it's kind of a. A, a thing that you could bring up with a, a creation it says if you if we require god to know what is immoral and what is moral is moral actions then god cannot say we have a moral failing if we don't worship him and uh another one is if we have uh, if life is a moral test then god cannot punish us for failing it if we have to randomly choose the right morals it only makes sense to punish a person if he ought to have known he was acting improperly. So there, there's just a couple things there. It was, there was, the, it was a, on a page here uh, at the Conversational Atheist and Challenges Response to God as the Source of All Morality. Uh, so if you get a chance to, I'll, I'll try to put that link in the show notes um, so it, you can take a look at this. It was a really good uh, article there. It was there. Uh, we've been going round robin, uh, so we're going to go start with Nate tonight. And uh, Nate, what is your... Uh, thoughts on the source of morality? Well, uh, it's 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 really difficult. To, it's really difficult for me to to really flesh that out. I mean, I, I I've been struggling with that. I I really only left the Christian faith maybe about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. So it's um, I'm still torn between my the way I used to look at things from the Christian point of view and from the secular point of view so mm. yeah it's 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 really yeah it's, it's it's really tough for me to think about the source of morality not being authored by God because that's the way I always I always thought about it as being authored no I can by God and then I can understand and that. you look about how uh, you know he, he said thou shalt not kill but then at the same time he commands that certain tribes be killed, and, mm -hmm. and you wonder where's the morality in that. All right, and and, Mo and when Moses, for example, came off the the, the mountain, it says you know God supposedly told him not to kill, and he goes first thing he does, oh you're worshiping another idol, let's f well you're fucking dead, you know. Right, <laughs> right. So, did you have anything else you wanted to add on that real quick? Uh no, no. Okay, all right, uh, Medusa, your thoughts on the source of morality. I spent the last three days reading about morality. <laughs> so, I've got morality. How moral of you? My... <laughs> What's wrong with me? I have a lot of free time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to read about these types of things. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, the, the Greeks didn't get it right. The, the Romans weren't great thinkers. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I, I came down to what they call a utilitarian view of morality. And that is, I asked my son, I said, do you know what morals are? Mm -hmm. And he said, yes. I said, tell me what they are. He said, well, basically, it's to get along with other people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And those people that can't get along, we have laws for. All right. And mm -hmm. so morals is utilitarian it's like a box cutter or a hammer or a circular saw or i was gonna uh, say where i was just gonna ask you where you keep where you keeping all these tools <laughs> exactly or an egg beater yeah 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 or, or an egg beater yeah right uh -huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. i couldn't resist yes so 
And, and that view of utilitarianism goes all the way back to the original archaeologists, like Herodotus, for, for example. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's the most familiar to all of us. Right. And uh, that when we first started to become domesticated, domesticating animals and planting crops, that we had to work together. So we couldn't fight with sticks and stones. We had to use sticks and stones to make dikes to move the water. I don't know. I'm not a far not a farmer. I'm not a farm. Mm-hmm. But they, they had to get along to do these enterprises. Right. And out of that grew the utilitarian nature of morality. It's a practical matter. Mm. And that's how I view it after reading for three days. Okay. And I, I, it has nothing to do with the church. Uh, they said probably the two best uh, espousers of, of uh, utilitarian uh, morals would be the Buddha and Confucius. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's 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 get Joe in here because he we only got about two minutes left, and I'm sure he's uh, go Joe go yeah go Joe <laughs> two minutes <laughs> two minutes just got a little uh, over two minutes. Uh, when it comes down to it, for the most part, uh, people want to be happy, and they understand that they should treat others as they would be treated. Right, and this is often referred to as the golden rule, or it's also known as the ethic of rep rep reciprocity reciprocity. I, I practiced I like saying that. that early, but it's hard. Yes, it's it the is. the ethic of reciprocity. <laughs> now you got me saying it. Repro- <laughs> now you got me saying it, Joe. Blah, blah, blah. blah, 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 blah. Reciprocity. Reciprocity. Yes. And some people attribute this to Jesus, but uh, the so-called golden rule predates Jesus and can be found in ancient cultures the world over. Mm-hmm. Uh, I prefer the um, – while that is true, I, I, I prefer the explanation for that, that golden rule to be the biological one uh, that – Morality as is a uh, product of human intelligence coupled with feelings of empathy. Right. Humans evolved as social animals that formed hunter-gatherer groups. Early humans looked after their relatives as well as non-relatives in that group. Mm-hmm. A person that is moral and acts altruistically towards others, meaning they, they give without expecting return, uh, they're seen as a suitable mate. Mm-hmm. And so these traits get carried on. And human cooperation and acts of altruism promote survival, not only for that individual, but for also for the group. All right. So right. morality is natural and, in my opinion, has an evolutionary origin, not yes. a fairy tale one. Exactly. No, that's, that's, those are actually excellent points. Actually, I remember hearing those exact points uh, several months ago. So, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, and in my reading, too. Yeah. In my reading, too. Yeah, and those, that, uh, yeah, morals have an evolutionary track not a a uh, religious one so mm-hmm. it's it's really cool uh that if we really dig into it this is where we're going to find this not it doesn't yeah. need to come from a, a god or a deity or or an imaginary yeah. friend we build these out from ourselves i actually had this uh conversation with a uh street preacher one day so i said he asked where where do i get my morals I said morals come from us i i right. don't want my i don't want my yes. house broken into and i won't break into somebody else's so we we right. work, work on that so we don't together so we mm-hmm. don't uh do that that would be the right thing the, our I, functional necessity right it's, it's a it's a way we need to function within our, our own society so uh and joe you pointed right out there if somebody steps outside that box then then we need to take care of that and mm-hmm. that is going to be our time. That was a great discussion. Bah! There we go, buzzer. There we go. <laughs> there was another, actually, another version where I've heard that, but uh, we'll save that for another time. But uh, yeah, morality, not from a god, not going to happen. Doesn't happen. Right. So. Empathy plays such a huge part of it. I oh, mean, yeah. We empathize with people we don't even know. We can see a celebrity on TV and they can get sick or have an accident and we'll feel for them. We'll have feelings for them. But that's a person we don't even know. We've never met them. Right. You know, and that's that's just our empathy fueling our emo our morality. Right. 